So with Unity 2019.1 finally coming out of beta yesterday, I thought that it would be great to check out the asset store for some assets that will best fit your projects using Unity in 2019. So in this video, we're going to check out 5 asset packs from the Unity asset store that work with Unity 2019 just by default. And also, this video is brought to you by Catsoft Studios. Catsoft is an indie game development team and is now working on creating assets for the Unity Asset Store. One of their assets is the Game Creator. Game Creator is a collection of tools that will help you kickstart your game in a matter of minutes. It comes packed with ready-to-use fully animated characters, a flexible high-level scripting language called Actions, a complete save and load system with local and global variables, and so much more. And you get access to all of this without writing a single line of code. To check out more about Game Creator, click the link in the description. Alright, so without further ado, just go get your wallet. <laughs> I was gonna say Unity, but go get your wallet because mine is still crying after so many assets being released this year. So to start this video off, the first asset we're gonna check is called Mad Goat SSAA or also Super Sampling Anti-Aliasing. This is an affordable, complete, and stable super sampling solution available on the asset store. By using Mad Goat's anti-aliasing, it's very easy to enhance the image quality of all your projects. Mad Goat is very easy to set up as you just have to drag and drop the script onto your cameras. It also supports SRP or the scriptable render pipeline and comes with built-in support for both HDRP or the high definition render pipeline and the lightweight render pipeline. This is actually the biggest reason and the main purpose to why I include this asset in this list. Mad Goat's solution for SSAA is also what I've used in most of my speed level design videos in the past, so I just know that this works out of the box and it actually works really well. And now moving on to number two, we have an asset pack called Suburb Neighborhood House Pack Modular. This is a 3D model pack on the asset store, which now also supports HDRP in Unity. You can use this asset pack to easily create beautiful looking and high detailed residential houses and streets from modular pieces and populate your scene with huge amounts of props. The package includes a modular road system with sidewalks, modular houses with exteriors and the interiors, trees, bushes, flowers, mailboxes, cars, lamps, electric poles, and so much more. There's just so much content in here. And everything is also well optimized and made with good performance and customization in mind. So performance is not going to be an issue where you'll have to deal with it using this pack. Also, this is what I use in my latest tutorial video where I show how to use volumetric lights in Unity using HDRP. So you can see that video as an example for how this pack looks. And next up at number 3 we have an asset pack called AAA Magic Circles and Shields Volume 2. This is a VFX pack of cool looking power-ups for your games. This pack includes 15 unique effects for magic circles and shields, 54 different textures, 6 multi-purpose particle shaders, and 5 extra for the lightweight render pipeline in Unity. Speaking of which, this pack also works with the high definition render pipeline and the lightweight render pipeline. All these effects also work on all platforms and are presented in normal sizes. They can, however, still be easily resized and modified, so you have the option of customizing these. These also work out of the box too, meaning that you can just literally drag them and drop them into your scene and you have an effect. And now moving on to number four, we have M3 Tree Creation. Now M3 is a powerful tree creation tool for Unity, which is probably obvious from the name, and it's now compatible with both high definition render pipeline and lightweight render pipeline. There are some short introductions to guide you to use M3 with the different SRPs, so make sure to check them out in case you actually pick this pack up. Now M3 will not only create beautiful looking vegetation, but it will also streamline your workflow by by removing the need of modeling, unwrapping, importing your vegetation models from another software, and that whole process for changing big or small details in a model you've just made. Some of M3's features include creating a trunk of any shape, adding branches to grow and split them, add leaves to any shape, bake the ambient occlusion in the vertex data, control the polygon count, and save your finished tree as a prefab 
to make it more convenient. And now last but not least, we have number five, Amplify Imposters Beta. Now Amplify Imposters is a tool for optimizing your projects with ease by using next generation billboard imposters. So imposters are basically camera facing quads or simple polygonal shapes that replace complex geometry by rendering a fake 3D representation of the original object. Imposters can be moved, rotated, scaled, receive and cast shadows, intersect with other objects or imposters, and can be used with Unity's LOD system, also called the Level of Detail system, and any other third-party LOD system if, in case you're not using Unity's. Now the main strength of Amplify Imposters is the fact that it makes full use of GPU-based instancing, which basically means that it's more modern, performant, and faster. It provides spherical and octahedron imposter techniques, which the latter option basically being capable of performing smart transitions between different views. I was laughing because I was unable to pronounce it at first. <laughs> so I was like, if I can't even say the name, how am I supposed to tell people what it does? <laughs> Anyhow, so those are the five awesome assets that I wanted to share with you guys. Keep in mind that these all work in Unity 2019 and later 2018 versions. So if you still haven't transitioned into 2019, that's fine because they are compatible with the latest SRP's high definition render pipeline and the lightweight render pipeline, which I feel like you've heard the names of quite a lot in this video. So I'm not gonna bombard you with that anymore. <laughs> also keep in mind that I'm going to link to all of these assets in the description box of this video. So if you wanna check them out, feel free to just browse down a little bit into the description and check them out. So now, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show some support and hit the subscribe button below this video to stay up to tune for new content. Now also make sure you turn on that bell icon or hit the bell, I hit the bell, I don't know what you say about that. But yeah, hit this bell icon down below the video next to the subscribe button after you hit subscribe. <laughs> there are so many steps at this point, you to why. But yeah, basically the bell enables you the subscriber notifications, which is kind of weird that it's not enabled by default when you subscribe but YouTube thinks it's hard for us, you know, YouTubers um, to um, handle all the notifications. So they were like, hey, let's make it difficult. And before ending the video, I would also like to give a huge shout out to all of our patrons, Flu Joey, Richard Stance, Coopla, Beauty or Die, MakeAGame.com, CouchFerret, Glasswell Entertainment, AcademyOfGames.com, Terrorrift.com, and John Funnel Grid. Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make more videos. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna be super active in the comments section and in our Discord server, so I hope to see you guys there. And so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys there once again, so make sure to join. The link is in the description to Discord. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, obviously let us know in the comments, and I will see you there. So thanks for watching once again, and have a good night. Peace out, guys.